Okay, so what's really the difference between the T2 and the V2? Uh, the T2 obviously, is, as mentioned, has a very simple uh, control panel layout. This one has a full tube preamp in it. So all the channels, whether it's a clean, overdrive, or boosted overdrive, so the amp has three modes, two channels, but three different modes of operation. Then it has a shared EQ for the clean and the overdrive channels. Then you have what we call the presence and density control or the valve dynamic power section. This kind of controls the low end and high end in this revolutionary power section. So we're going to demonstrate the clean channel here, and then we'll show you the, the, uh, the real killing part of this amp, the overdrive channel. So very nice all tube tone in all three modes. <laughs> Nice chimey kind of uh, Fender-esque clean tone in this uh, in this particular amp. Uh, again, because it's all tube uh, in the preamp. Now we'll go to the overdrive channel, which can be accessed by either pushing the channel select button or with the included foot controller. That can also go from overdrive to boosted mode. So we're going to listen to the normal overdrive now, which is more of the classic um, kind of gain. It'll do anywhere from plexi to modern high gain. Then we're going to go to the boosted overdrive, which is the same. It doesn't change the voicing of the amp, it just adds more gain. So you get more compression. This is really the modern, uh, really high gain metal stuff. So let's finish the, uh, the EQ controls here. We have a bass control, a cool mid-range section, which has a level and a sweep. So it allows you to kind of dial in different mid-range frequencies. Over here would be more uh, darker mid-range. You go over here, it would kind of clean up the mid-range. So this is actually more modern mid-range for modern voiced amps. This would be more classic mid-range voice amps. So this would be more, be more of the Marshall style, older Marshall style plexi. This would be more your traditional modern high gain setting. So when this is flat though, this control is not doing anything. So if you're moving this and this level control is flat, the more you get off center, the more this control becomes active. Then you've got a uh, passive, uh, passive treble control, and then again your presence and density control on the front panel.